Hello and welcome to Meme Reads, where today we're covering r slash am I the butthole, where OP tells a racist mom to fuck off. This next post is from Unlikely Salary 409 Am I the butthole for laughing at my son when he came home from meeting his girlfriend's parents because he chose to behave like he does at home? My son burps a lot while eating. I've tried to tell him multiple times that it's rude. I've told him to slow down so he doesn't swallow air with his food. I've told him that this is disgusting. My wife will then instantly jump in to defend him. She'll say that this is just the way he is and it's not his fault. The thing is, he can control himself when I remind him. He just chooses not to. He just went on a date with his girlfriend last night and she tore him a new butthole. It was his first time meeting her parents since they live in another city. They went out to a fancy restaurant and he burped his way through the supper. He came home almost in tears from her chewing him out for behaving like an absolute donkey in front of her family. I heard him telling my wife about it and I just laughed. She said, what was so funny? And I reminded them both that I had tried dozens if not hundreds of times to teach him table manners and he rejected them and she protected him. I said that now he's a grown man and he has to learn the hard way. They both think she overreacted and that I'm the butthole for being amused by his experience. Before we get into the butthole score or the commentary, I just had to go into the comment section and see how old his son was and oh my god, you guys will never believe this comment. This comment is from Available Maze 5837 not the butthole. I also laughed at this. How old is your son? Doesn't matter either way. There are times for this behavior. Dinner at a restaurant is not one of those times. Girlfriend did not overreact. Hopefully he learns a valuable lesson from this. Then OP replies, wait for it. His son is 22. And then this next comment just sums up exactly how I feel. 20 goddamn two? I was expecting like 16 or some shit. Not the butthole OP. That is absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, this is absolutely hilarious. I can only imagine your son being like at an upscale dinner being like, Oh guys, this is, this is so good. Oh my god, I love this. And his girlfriend and her family are just so embarrassed, staring daggers at him across the table being like, Ugh. All jokes aside OP, no, I definitely don't think you're the butthole here, you're actually trying to raise your son, unlike your wife who's just trying to coddle him. This kind of behavior from your son and your wife will get your son nowhere in life. I mean, let's be honest, having good table manners isn't the end of the world, but I wouldn't be surprised if your wife did this with other areas in your son's life. Trying to shelter your child from the consequences of the real world and their stupid actions never works out for either of you. Now, I may be overstepping, and maybe this is just a one-time deal where she's just trying to protect him about this one thing, but I honestly highly doubt it. OP, you get a rock-solid 0 out of 5 buttholes because you're just trying to raise your son to be a responsible man. Your son, on the other hand, is old enough to know better, and he gets a 1.5 out of 5 buttholes just for being a gross slob. On the other hand, I think I'm gonna have to give your wife a 3 out of 5 buttholes because I'm not for sure, but I think this kind of behavior could ruin your son. Like I said, I could be overreacting and maybe she just is particular about this one thing, but I have a feeling that maybe she just guards your son from all the responsibilities of the real world and eventually it's gonna catch up to him. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. You guys let me know in the comment section. This next post is by PastelClouds808. Am I the butthole for telling one of my daughter's classmates' moms to f*** off about what I put in my daughter's lunch? No names in the story are real. So for some context before the story, I'm a 38-year-old woman and I cook Asian foods regularly for dinner and for my 7-year-old daughter at Lily's lunches at school. This is because my family enjoys these foods and I like to cook these foods and my mom cooked a bunch of these foods growing up since she's half Japanese. Oftentimes, I'll either give my daughter some leftovers from last Last night's dinner, plus a fruit or veggie and a snack, or I'll make her a quick little bento box or some other thing really quick. So after school one day, my daughter wanted to play on the playground for a bit before we went home. I said that she could play for a few minutes and then she ran off to play. I was waiting next to this other parent who we'll call Deborah. While I was waiting, Deborah came up to me. Deborah, are you Lily's mother? Oh yeah, I am. Why? Well, your daughter's lunches have been bothering my son and I would like to ask you to pack something else. What? How are they bothering him? She then proceeded to start talking about how her son was complaining about my daughter's lunches smelling terrible and that she thought it was disgusting. She also said that her son didn't eat most of his lunch because he was so grossed out. Me. Okay. I understand your son doesn't like the smell, but can't he just sit somewhere else? Deborah. Are you kidding me? My son shouldn't have to put up with whatever crap you make your daughter bring to school. It's disgusting. Then she started making some more vaguely racist complaints, but I was fed up at this point. Listen. I understand that your son might not like my daughter's food, but he can easily just not sit next to her. I'm not changing what's in my daughter's lunches because you and your kid don't want to exist near Asian food. F off. She angrily stomped off with her kid then, and my daughter finished playing soon after, so we went home. I talked to my husband about it, and he said that maybe I shouldn't have told her to F off to avoid her bothering us in the future. 
but am I the butthole? OP, you told a racist Karen to fuck off. You're definitely not the butthole here. She deserved it. You're right. You don't have to change your daughter's lunches just because Deborah and her kid don't want to exist near Asian food. Anyways, OP, Deborah's definitely the butthole here. And I can't believe that your husband's not backing you up on this. She was being racist and wouldn't leave you alone, so you told her to f*** off. This next post is from Sudden Difference 767 Am I the butthole for not backing down on my daughter's teacher calling her the proper name? My daughter, Alexandra, who's 14, hates any shortened version of her name. This has gone on since she was about 10. The family respects it, and she's pretty good about advocating for herself should somebody call her Lexi, Alex, or any other name. She also hates it when people get her name wrong and she just wants to be called Alexandra. She took Spanish in middle school. The teacher wanted to call all the students by the Spanish version of their name, provided that there was one. So she tried to call Alexandra Alejandra. Alexandra corrected her and then the teacher respected it. She had the same teacher all three years of middle school so it wasn't really an issue. Now she's in high school and is still taking Spanish. Once again, the new teacher announced if any student had a Spanish version of their name, she would call them that. So Alexandra became Alejandra again. Alexandra corrected her teacher, but this time the teacher ignored her. My daughter came home upset after the second week, and I'm usually not the type of mom to write emails, but I felt I had to in this case. If this matters, the teacher in question herself is not Hispanic, so it isn't really a pronunciation issue. Her argument is if these kids ever went to a Spanish-speaking country, then they'd be called by that name. I found this excuse a little weak, as the middle school Spanish teacher was actually Hispanic and came from a Spanish-speaking country, and she respected Alexandra's wishes. The teacher tried to dig her heels in, but I said if it wasn't a big deal in her eyes that she calls her Alejandra, then why would it be a big deal to call her Alexandra? Eventually, she gave in. Alexandra then confirmed that her teacher is now calling her by her proper name. My husband feels like I blew this out of proportion, and Alexandra could have sucked it up for the year. The school has three different Spanish teachers, so odd that she would get another one for her sophomore year, but... Am I the butthole? No, OP, I don't think you're the butthole. Now, I think it is cool that the teacher is giving you names that sound similar to your name in Spanish, but it's not your quote-unquote Spanish name. Your name is your name. Just because you go to another country where they speak a different language doesn't mean your name just changes magically. Yes, certain names are harder to say than others, and people might mispronounce it, but your name is still your name. If you want to give your students a cool little nickname and they're okay with it, then that's fine. But you're not going to force a quote-unquote Spanish name onto somebody. That's just weird in my opinion. OP, in my opinion, you get a 0 out of 5 buttholes for just sticking up for your daughter. On the other hand, the Spanish teacher who tried to turn a cool thing into some weird forceful nickname change, you get a 1 out of 5 buttholes. Come on, man. Don't be so weird about it. Like, if the kids want to have a cool nickname, fine. If not, don't try and force it. Nobody wants a name forced on them. Just call people what they want to be called. It's not that hard. This next post is by NoFlight610. Am I the butthole for telling my kids that my mother-in-law hates me and that's why I'm not coming on our family trip? My husband and I have two eight-year-old twin boys. We both work full-time and my husband makes a little more than me, but just a little. We make enough to be financially secure and we can afford all the necessities and rent a two-bedroom apartment, but we have never traveled, aside from the weekend road trips, and probably won't be able to in the foreseeable future. My husband's family is quite well off. A few weeks ago, my mother-in-law called my husband and asked if he wanted to bring our kids to go on a trip with her. She apparently wanted to spend some time with her family. Her family, though, doesn't include me. She's always disliked me and never considered me a part of her family, partly because I'm not religious. My husband is, but he respects my lack of belief, and also because she just doesn't like me. My husband knows about this and hasn't ever forced me to interact with her, but he still talks with her occasionally. Anyhow, he told me that my mother-in-law had offered to pay for him and the boys to go on a two-week trip with her around Thanksgiving time. I'm not invited. She said that I'm not really her family, so she doesn't want to pay for me too. This is what she said word for word, according to my husband. She knows that we can't afford for me to pay to come on this luxury trip. She can afford it pretty easily herself. I was pretty upset about this, because I'd love a break too, but I understand that the kids will love this, so I said of course they should go. I tried to be cheerful about it, but my husband understood that I was upset. He asked my mother-in-law specifically to please invite me me too so that we could have a proper family trip. She reiterated that I might be his family, but I'm not her family. I told him not to push it because I want my kids to have a good time without my husband and mother-in-law fighting during the trip. But I've been feeling pretty angry about the whole thing. So yesterday when my son asked me why I wasn't more excited about the trip, I told him that I wasn't coming because grandma hates me. I said this in kind of a bitter tone. They were pretty upset to hear this. Later, my husband told me that I was a butthole for dumping my feelings on my kids and making them feel guilty about looking forward to the trip. He said that I was ruining it for them and also ruining their relationship with my mother-in-law. They're pretty close. And that I'm being selfish. So do you think that I'm wrong? OP, what your husband and mother-in-law did to you is blatant disrespect. She's openly excluding you, and I think you have a right to be upset about it. Your husband is a huge butthole for not defending you and getting mad at you for telling the truth to your kids. 
It's not like you lied to them. You were being honest. She does hate you. And this is probably going to make the kids pretty upset at her too. Your husband and mother-in-law are both in the wrong here. Plus, you're supposed to go two weeks without seeing your family at all while they're all having a great time without you? You are definitely not the butthole here, OP. That was Meme Reads. If you enjoy this content, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Peace.